Hey, core reporters, welcome back to my channel. So yesterday I ran a story about how JLo and Ben Affleck ran and rushed to their friends over at Batgrid Images to stage some fake paparazzi photos of them casually in a car with Ben's iPhone strategically being pointed at the camera, showing a glammed up photo of JLo as his background with the name Jennifer Affleck written across the screen, right? It, it was a joke, to be honest with you guys. And I explain why I feel that way. I am sad that they are having marital problems, allegedly. But I do find it rather sad that instead of resolving those amongst themselves, they rush to call paparazzi on themselves and everything like that. Meanwhile, that man is still living in another home in another like town uh, he's in brentwood california and i don't remember where she's at we'll get into that in this article that i've pulled up so today page six decided to go ahead and drag this marriage like they like slashed it like this was personal and i want to read the article with you guys because i have not seen a title this aggressive about people's relationship like to me this means that their source is solid and that the end is near, which again, I find to be sad, especially for Jennifer Lopez's children. Jennifer Lopez has been engaged more times than I care to count. She's been married three times. She's had other relationships in between all these things. Like these kids always have a new father figure every, you know, two years or so. And I find that to be very, very sad, right? Um, Let's get into the story. I just, I, to me, the headline is something you have to see to believe. And that's why I decided to just go ahead and share the screen with you guys and read along. So page six, again, is the source. And this is what they said. Ben Affleck has, quote, come to his senses about fever dream, Jennifer Lopez marriage. There is just no way this is going to work. So when they say fever dream, it's like this man was not even aware. Like he was married, like without even knowing that he was about to get married. And with him, like having a history of addiction, it sounds like he had advantage of, which again, I don't believe is the case. It's just, I find it to be a very aggressive title. Um, uh, you know, and it paints Ben Affleck as some kind of a victim. He's like, isn't he in his forties? Isn't he a father of multiple children? He's been married and divorced before. Like he knows how this stuff works. He didn't just pop up married to JLo. Like it took time, you know? And that's the thing about page six. And this is why I read them with ad block. Like I find them to be very biased as a, a publication that is supposed to be like attached to what is it? The work magazine. Um, and they have people that they hate and detest and they just do when they really detest you um, over at page six, they do their very best to smear you. And so it appears as though they hate JLo and they're doing their best to smear her and make Ben Affleck look like the victim. Oh my God, she married me. I didn't even know I was getting married. You know, like that type of nonsense. So let's get into the story, shall we? In fact, let me make it even bigger by scooching myself over down here. Jennifer Lopez is about to be the next Gone Girl. So I had to look up what Gone Girl was. I know it's a movie, but I haven't watched the movie. You know, I talk about this from time to time on my channel, but I grew up with very religious, strict parents. So we weren't really able to watch a lot of movies and TV shows. I just watched the Titanic for the first time like last week, you know, and I'm trying to watch a Bronx Tale, but I can't find it to rent on YouTube. And so I guess I need to watch Gone Girl too. So if you are like me and have never seen Gone Girl, is that Ben Affleck in the thing? It kind of looks like Ben Affleck. This is what it says in Cartage M.O. I don't know. Former New York based writer Nick Dune and his glamorous wife Amy present a portrait of a blissful marriage to the public. When Amy goes missing on the couple's fifth wedding anniversary, Nick becomes a prime suspect in her disappearance. The resulting police pressure and media frenzy caused the Dunes' image of a happy union to crumble, leading to tantalizing questions about who Nick and Amy truly are. So it sounds juicy. I do want to watch it. And this is reminiscent of, again, the staged paparazzi photo that they put out yesterday with his like phone strategically placed to show Jennifer's image. And it says Jennifer Affleck. And he put the ring back on after putting it off. You know, like it's all about what the public thinks, right? Anyway, let's continue. Ben Affleck has come to his senses about his failing marriage to the star and knows they're headed for a divorce. A source tells page six exclusively. If there was a way to divorce on grounds of temporary insanity, he would. Our sort, our insider shares. He feels like the last two years was just a fever dream and he's come to his senses now and understands there's just no, this is going to work. So where's his agency as a grown man? You know, why is he the victim? Why is he incapable of making choices for himself? Like he had no involvement in his marriage and his wedding and anything like that. How did he show up to the altar? Who drove him there? Who chose out his tux? Who chose out the engagement ring? Did he proposed to, to JLo? Like, this is ridiculous. 
Reps for Affleck and Lopez didn't return Page Six's numerous requests for comment. The Grammy nominee, 54, also he's he's even older than I thought, he's 51. And the air actor, 51, first sparked split rumors when she attended 2024 Met Gala solo earlier this month, despite serving in one of the exclusive events' co-chairs. Upon further examination, fans realized that the Giggly co-stars had not been photographed together in more than a month. So there's, I guess, one of the last photos of the two of them together, and they look frantic per usual. <clears throat> there she is at the Met alone i liked her dress by the way but i don't know that it really had much to do potentially having seen the headlines about their sudden inconspicuousness lopez and affleck made sure to be spotted attending his child serafina school play together last week however the sighting did not lessen fan concern about benefer 2.0's marriage as the hustler star had liked an instagram post about unhealthy relationships da 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 so also told me that affleck had been hunting around Los Angeles while living separately from his spouse. We were also told that Lopez was doing the same when Insider clarified she was merely searching for an investment property. All right, that's what they all say. The Oscar winner and JLo again stepped out together over the weekend, but Affleck, who was wearing his wedding ring, blustered as the pair made through a parking garage toward an elevator bank to gain entry into Soho House. So they, they are, what is this, a basketball game? You know, I feel like the other Jennifer, like the first wife, Jennifer Garner, her jeans are very strong. Her son looks like her and their daughter looks like her too. Like she's got very, very strong jeans. Little cuties. But I think the height comes from Ben. Earlier in the day, the couple attended a movie event with their kids and seemed to send a message with the Good Will Hunting star's phone. As he drove off with Lopez in the passenger seat, Affleck made sure to give a paparazzo a glimpse of his cell phone. See, they're calling it out. He made sure, which showed he was receiving a call from Jennifer Affleck. He was receiving a call from Jennifer in... They were sitting next to each other. So that's why the name was there. I asked him about this, like, why the hell... Um, is her name on his phone like okay if you have a picture whatever but her name so she was calling him meanwhile she was sitting next to him in the passenger seat these two are loco they are cuckoo for cocoa puffs at their big ages they are past middle age here this is weird after calling off their initial engagement in 2004 the greatest love story ever told documentary subjects reconciled in 2021 and eloped in las vegas by 2022 their blended family including children would get Jennifer Garner and Mark Anthony gathered together for a star studded soiree the following month for a second wedding at Affleck's Georgia estate. Whoo, this is messy. You know, the part that shakes me the most is that Jennifer or JLo was calling Ben when that photo was ta strategically taken. So you're driving a car, you're pulling out of a parking garage and your phone is strategically like this with the face out and your wife is strategically call is coincidentally calling you even though she's sitting right there in the passenger side. And these photos are all being taken by background, which is famous for staging. You know, this is when the celebrities call themselves. This is the agency that they use, right? To be papped. Like, this is also ridiculous. Work on your marriage. Work on being in a place where you feel good enough to move back into your marital home. Don't worry about us and what we're saying, dude. Especially when it's true. Obviously, with all the lengths that y'all are going through. Like, it's crazy. You can't just be living for the public and what we have to say. You have to be living for yourselves at the end of the day. Anyway, again, Page Six's article about this was super aggressive. Like, talking about, it was a fever dream. He didn't even know he was married. Ben chose the ring. Ben, or collaborated at the very least. Ben did the proposal. They did the elopement in Vegas. Then they did a formal wedding. Like he knew he was getting married. He's not a victim, page six. Like stop it, you know? Anyway, let me know what you think about this situation. Sorry to JLo and Ben, and most importantly, their children being dragged around from all relationship to relationship. Um, and I really, really do hope that, you know, they are able to turn this thing around and to work it out. Listen, y'all are 54 and 51. Y'all have been in and out of relationships and marriages. Like at a certain point, you got to say, nobody's going to be perfect especially not at this age you know where everybody's so set in their ways um just take not take whatever you can get but like just find a way find a way because i feel like when you've
been engaged 10 million times, it, it's, it means that there's something with you where you just cannot, you know, be in a relationship for like the long term, for the long haul, where you are more into the honeymoon phase or the wedding planning phase, or are they or aren't they going to propose phase? And, you know, on, Je on uh, Ben's side, like maybe it's addiction issues. I don't know. Either way, very sad. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on a single update about this entire saga or any other celebrity or reality television news or even royal news, okay? That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.